Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name's Shadow Wraith, and I'm here with Arash again. And we are the boys from Harad. You alright Arash, how's it going? Yeah, how's it going? Not bad, you? I'm doing absolutely fantastic. It's a fantastic evening, lit by candle night, and we are going to be talking about our predictions for the Dragon Emperor. Absolutely. absolutely. I can't wait for this one. I mean, I mean, first of all, commiserations and everything to the Golden King of Harad. He had a good run. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> all good things come to an end. You absolute peasant. I thought you were rich. You throw money at people and you've only got two people carrying your, you know, your, your throne. You need to upgrade. Two topless like, dudes. Someone... <laughs> <laughs> two two topless dudes are probably eating all your dinner. That's why you're strength three, probably strength two. And you, your only ability is to throw money at people, and you know you make them run away. I don't know how you do it. I'm guessing severe halitosis. That's why you wear a mask. <laughs> yeah. But it's definitely something. Your breath, your breath stinks, or, or you're doing something to make them run away. But you need to upgrade your game because the Dragon Emperor is here, and your little chair on two sticks ain't gonna cut it no more. No. He, the Dragon Emperor is literally the guy that she told the Golden King not to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. The Dragon, the Dragon Emperor is basically the person your wife tells you not to worry about when you're the Golden King. He's like, oh, don't worry, you know, Golden Throne, like six guys carrying it. Don't worry about it. But then she doesn't return your calls after 9pm. She's out all weekend. You find out she's in room. You start worrying. You know what I mean? You send your two fat boys after her. <laughs> and there's no one to carry your throne? Oh, mate, it's hard times for you. Yeah. No money in the world's going to bring a back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can throw as many coins as you want. <laughs> You're not going to get her back, mate. You, 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 I mean, you don't have six black dragons covered in golden armor carrying you. Like, it's not going to happen, mate. <laughs> I mean, he could go and try and get her back, but he ain't going to work, really. Not she took the last carriage to Rune, and she ain't coming back, my guy. Nope. <laughs> Rune is where our heart is now, mate. I'm sorry. Heart, body, soul, everything. He's oh. the dragon emperor. You're a golden king. Emperor beats king. Everyone knows that. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> oh, I love him. It's such a nice model. And, oh, just... Uh, yeah, they did perfection. Like, kudos. Such a good job. I think all the new sculpts that they're bringing out are just like blowing me out of the water every time. Yeah, GW, whoever you hire to do these new sculpts, pay rise. We live in a time of inflation. These guys need to be in filet mignon every night. They, they, they can't be, you can't be like us. These guys are amazing. Whatever they're doing is great. And I guess the community is incredibly grateful. Just look at the online engagement. Um, Middle Earth community is already so wholesome. And it's such a great community to be part of in comparison to a lot of other tabletop board gaming communities. Oh, yeah. And then on top of that, releasing new models, you just see everyone come together and they're all so happy. And these aren't obviously the best times in the world at the moment either. So seeing how a model can make everyone so happy as well, it's just great to see. It really is. It really is. Uh, and you can see how much effort's gone into this. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, but let's talk about Raw. Yeah, I, I was hyping up GW, and now is my time to bring them down. Given their track record with evil armies, they've released a nice model, and now they're going to take it away with shit rules. Sorry, language, terrible rules. <laughs> no, you're fine. Um, I mean, our predictions originally were wrong. <laughs> I think we both predicted the Dragon Emperor is coming. He will bring war to Middle Earth, and it'll be a shriveled old man on the throne. <laughs> oh, no, this guy works out, man. Yeah. This guy works out. This guy, this guy is swole. <laughs> I think yeah. there's Hugh Jackman under that mask or something. <laughs> uh. Hugh Jackman, the guy who played Shang-Chi, anyone, just someone, like, and yeah. someone swole. He's, he's gotta be, he's gotta be, he's gotta be an absolute chad <laughs> who hits the weights <laughs> because no one can hold a glaive out that long. <laughs> nah, he's here to kill and take a woman as well at the same time. He's here to take all the women, look at this guy. He's here yeah, to take oh, everything. we got we don't know his orientation. I don't want to prejudge him actually. Now it could be very enlightened from the rings, but yeah, this guy's here to you know to, to to kick ass and take names, and he's on a throne to do so. And I think this throne is gonna, and this is one of my first predictions actually, it's gonna some way buff the troops. And I think that's already been hinted at or in in the uh, uh, was it the Warhammer community article it says that. The mere sight of the Dragon Emperor will inspire the troops to like greater feats of 
bravery or heroism or like combat prowess or something. So that's what so I read into it. What we know is his standfast reaches Eastlings across the entire board, including Eastling heroes. Absolutely. Oh, this guy wishes he was Thrain. He does. He wants to be Thrain. I mean, Thrain probably wants to be this guy. He gets carried around like Thrain doesn't have a chariot or a, <laughs> a fucking throne on legs. It's... Does this tie in with the army special rule that when they're broken, they get plus one courage? I, I'd assume so, yeah. So he, he's probably courage six, plus one to seven, and battlefield wide. Yeah. With yeah. X amount will. I think he, he's going to be filthy. I love it. I, I do think he's going to be a support hero to an extent, because they have hinted that well he's a hero of legend for sure so he's got 18 warriors auto stand past so you definitely get an army wide stand fast for free auto past to first time you break uh, on top of that he it does say that uh you were right something like um they fight better near him or something like that but the yeah they did write something like that that we know about him is he's got an elven maid glaive deflecting attacks yeah. and striking back in equal measure. So I'm feeling a, a, shark, a, a Sharku kind of rule there, maybe? I'm thinking so, too. I'm thinking that if you fail to wound him, he hits you back. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. He's like a little landmine. Well, I see little. His throne is enormous. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't want to imagine the price tag on this model. It looks huge. <laughs> From it's a Forge World model, right? Yeah, it's going to be Forge World. Guaranteed, been told. <laughs> Taking taking in the new GW price rises, inflation, you know, war, general lack of pay. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be one of those ones where you have to justify it to everyone in your life. Yeah. Ah, oh, and bringing this guy. The thing is, I don't know how many points he'd be, but if his uh, mount gets destroyed, unlike the Golden King where he's just got wounds, it is a mount. So if his um, I don't know what it's called, the throne. Um, gets broken, you've suddenly got six black dragons and him all on foot. And yeah. that doesn't count to his warband, so he's technically rocking, like, what, a 24-man warband? Shouting level warband. Yeah. And, with, and these black dragons are fight for, uh, probably, yeah, defense fives. I don't think they're carrying shields. It's not visible from the photo. Um, they've got um, shields on the sides, maybe. Oh, yeah, so they could just, like, grab a shield and they got, okay, let's assume the defense, six black dragons with a sword. And then on top of that, there's definitely going to be some sort of combat buff aura around the Dragon Emperor. Yeah. And what I, what I think they'll do in comparison to what I want them to do, so what I think they'll do is probably uh, a fight increase to make them fight four, fight five, regular troops fight four, and black dragons fight five. That's what It'll I'm be thinking. insane... It'll be insane if it affects heroes too. So you've got a fight seven Amjur running around with three heroic strikes. Um, <laughs> but what I would like them to do, and I think this would just take Easterlings onto a whole nother level, is give them an aura of plus one to wound. Well, like Thranduil. Yeah, similar, but bigger. Not three inches. Go He's a dragon six. emperor. Go six at least. Go yeah. Six. six inch aura of plus one to wound. I think that would really boost Easterlings up to where they need to be. Because currently, like, don't get me wrong, they're good, and if you're good with them, you're good. But they are on the weaker side of the factions. Yeah, average tier at best. Yeah, it's just the truth. It's just the truth. You don't have the killing power. Your troops are okay. Your captains are fight four, for God's sake. Like, come on. Um, <laughs> you know? But, yeah, they need some major busts. And, yeah, I think they're going to get definitely a banner and I almost want to say definitely a fight value increase but yeah. to make them truly competitive they need that plus one to wound aura I think to make this I guy think... and include in my list I think I definitely want to see something to make them better at killing they are absolutely not for killing to be honest I mean what I would like to see and it's they haven't done this before I don't think with GW uh, SBG is there seems to be some little upgrades you can do to the um, to the throne, right? So perhaps one upgrade could be you know twelve inch banner or or twelve inch aura plus one fight value, or if you go another way, it's plus one to uh, the wound rolls, but you can't have both. Yeah. And you have to pay the points accordingly for which which loadout you want for it. 
the throne. And that could essentially, it drives the way you're going to design the army list. If you want a very killy army, you, you choose the, the plus one to wound aura, you put in a lot of black dragons, you get those acolytes as well. Let's say it affects your throne daggers, that'll be insane. <laughs> that'd be great. Um, that'll be broken, but it'll be, it'll be interesting because the aura, I would assume, would only be six inches, but the model is so large in reality, it's more like eight to nine. Yeah. Um, maybe more, actually. We haven't seen the model up close. Um, but yeah, I, I, that's what I would like to see because then you can still bring the numbers and you can bring the Dragon Emperor. If you give them both, I'm guessing he's going to be over 190 points, right? And then you're just, you're not going to be able to bring the numbers to really, really drive the Easterling advantage because you're going to want to bring other heroes like Tabi, like Anjo, and it's just not really going to work at that point. You're going to be human elves, essentially. Um, yeah. And you're not going to be as good, to be honest. And he's a big target. <laughs> he's a very big target. I, I can't see hiding this bloke. That's the only... Like the biggest downside, the thing I'd be scared of, is like artillery for this guy. Because he gets hit yeah. once and he's knocked off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Artillery. Or it would be hilarious if you just send like one dwarf Chad in who bashes him off his throne. <laughs> <laughs> that would be brilliant. Just like, charge with one grim, grim hammer, somehow pull off the madness and just knock him off his throne. Because this guy's got to be rocking at least, what, nine attacks? I don't think he's doing any of the attacking when he's on the throne. Right, he's got the Elven Maid Glaive. So but I think that's when he only dismounts. I think the way you play this guy is you essentially use his throne as sort of a supporting item or whatever. And then when you need him to, which you rarely would, you jump him off and make him do combat-y stuff. But I don't know how it's, how it's going to work. Because, yes, it's a mount, right? But I'm guessing it's a six-inch mount. They're not going to move faster than six inches. I mean, or maybe they do. All that. Like, I mean, they, they definitely don't miss leg day, but they're not pure leg day. <laughs> like, I mean, unless, unless these dudes are like running track for, for room, I don't think, I don't see them moving faster than six inches. Um, <laughs> I imagine Mark yeah. and these guys, like, they're just shooting off nine inches <laughs> carrying this car. Oh, yeah. You definitely want to take, um, what is it, uh, uh, an Easterly war drum with oh. this, because it would just be insane. Oh, that'd be so funny. I, I literally, I just want it to put the war drum next to it. Put a captain next to it, march and bang the drum, just so I can watch these poor little sausages go in like 12 inches. <laughs> can you imagine? They're, they're running faster than Shadow Fax. <laughs> they are. Like, uh -huh. You've got an army of the same bolts. <laughs> yeah. Whilst carrying a dragon emperor on his huge throne. Paint them in the colours of Jamaica. I love it. I love it. it oh, that's so good. But, I mean, it's just absolutely insane. Um, I mean, what predictions do you have for the Dragon Emperor? I mean, let's say he's off his mount. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to eyeball this, but I think the mount's going to be six wounds, defense five. I because reckon, of the six dragon knights or whatever. Yeah, I reckon. I reckon right. higher defense. I reckon you're right about the wounds. But I reckon higher defense. You reckon? It's got to be. I don't see them getting him getting in in the like an in the way roll like the chariots do for Kand, but yeah, I think he's going to be a big part of the legendary legion. <clears throat> and I mean, I'm not to like screw over like GW or anything, but I can imagine the legendary legion giving the black dragon upgrade for free. That would be insane because it's beneficial for GW because what have they just released? Black dragon models. Yeah, and you sell more of them as well. Yeah, so because at the yeah, moment a black dragon is the same point as a dwarf, uh, as an elf with the shield, which makes no sense to me personally. No, they're they're way overcosted, without a doubt. Yeah. Um. So they need it for free anyway. I mean, I'm not going to buy the new black dragon models because I'm just going to play the robes for black. Uh. But <laughs> you, know, you know, they do look good. Awesome. If you if you can afford it, do it. But I can't. Um. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I reckon I'm going to get three black dragons, and I reckon he gives plus one fight value to black dragons. A banner reroll, which has got to be something like six at least or twelve inches. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Then, then we're straying into the territory of he's too high, he's too overcosted because there isn't that many mid tier. I mean, I mean just in the legendary legion, he's going to get all of these buffs. Off legendary legion, he's probably going to be a twelve inch banner or something like that. Maybe within six inches, yeah. it's plus one fight value. But in the legendary legion, yeah. all black dragons get like plus one to wound within six or something. Then if the black dragon upgrade is free, then everyone is a black dragon. Yeah, and then because they're fighting dwarves, aren't they? Thematically, 
So yeah. they, they usually try and balance out the uh, the armies that are going against each other in the supplement. So plus one to wound is absolutely essential for these guys to even hope of going toe to toe with the dwarfies. I tell you what I absolutely think is going to happen. Actually, I I think the legendary legion they're not going to get plus one to wound. They're going to get ancient enemies dwarf. If they do that, I'm going to throw something <laughs> out the window. <laughs> <laughs> because if they're all plus one to wound, then what's what's Erebor got left? <laughs> like the defense means nothing. Like you got, like I want them to be, but let's look at it this way: the good armies are what I don't know. I feel like most people in this hobby get into the hobby for the good armies. That's what they're I feel, cool, anyways. They're they might cool be guys, aren't they? Like, yeah, they're yeah. they're cool. They look good. They've got the good stats. They've got the good heroes. You know, no one really want like no one really grows up saying, "Yeah, I want to be you know Gorbag." Um, <laughs> Mate, I want to be Shagrat. Like, but, you know, be yeah, 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 I still want to know how he got his name, but that's another. <laughs> <laughs> that was, yeah, yeah, that <laughs> Subscribe. That's there's going to be a one-hour speculation chat about how Shagrat got his name. You know what? Um, do it. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's an, it's going to be a deep dive, but I just feel like they're gonna. They're going to do something here so that the Easterlings don't have that much of an advantage playing dwarves. Because why do people play dwarves? Defense, right? Yeah. What does plus one to wound do? Take away defense. What they might do is they might have it similar to the Black Gate Opens, where if you're within 12 inches of the Dragon Emperor and you have like two models in base contact with another model, they get plus one to wound. Um, obviously, with the Black Gate Opens, it's everywhere. Whereas with this one, it might be a little bit more of a bubble focus. But... I, as much as I want them to have plus one to wound because they deserve it, and they're such an awesome looking army, I think the best looking army in the game. Oh yeah. Um, they're not gonna do it. They just won't. If they do, you know, I eat my shorts. I swear to God, like these guys are amazing. And if they do it, I'll, I'll be over the moon. That's my next army then. Yeah. Void. And I, I wouldn't have wasted all my money. Because <laughs> I need it. Because <laughs> need need so far, like. I have not seen anything strength four, and I haven't seen anything plus one to wound yet. No, 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 no. Like it's I'm no telling you, those dragon, those dragon caught acolytes are just injecting water in their arms. There's nothing there. They're strength three. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure. Yeah, you can argue. People can argue. Yeah, they're really good. Two attacks, throwing weapons. Throwing weapons are good. Two attacks are good. Fight four is good, but they're like what defense four or five. Like, and defense four, strength three. Yeah. Yeah, they can climb walls. Yeah. Great. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, uh, it's not what I want in my Easterling list. Like, if I want speed and stuff like that, I'm, I'm just going to get a cataract. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah. <Trump. laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't get it. But, I mean, they look cool. They look swole, but they're not swole, so, you know. I have a feeling this guy's going to be... I mean, if we had to speculate about his stats, right? Like, his fight value, courage, tax, etc. I think he's going to be probably fight... Five. I don't think I don't think he's going to be fight six for some reason. I just have a sneaky suspicion he's going to be fight five. He's the Dragon Emperor. Like even Amdor's fight six. Rutabar is fight six. They've got to give him. Yeah, but those dudes are grunts, right? Like yeah. she's um Rutabi's, Rutabi's fight six. And she's probably spent all her life killing this guy. Eats caviar and rides on a throne. Like yeah. I don't know if he's going to be that much into combat but given his stance I, I you know i probably i'll probably be wrong and he might be fight six i just have a sneaky suspicion he's fight five <laughs> imagine imagine he's fight five <laughs> strength three <laughs> <laughs> nah, he won't be strength three. <laughs> ancient enemies dwarves for everyone within six inches <laughs> three inch band nah. boom 190 points <laughs> this guy's protein shakes are, are, are whey protein, caviar, and creatine. He is not strength three, I tell you that. Nah, now. He's, he's definitely uh, strength four at least. Yeah. He won't and be his glades obviously, No, his glades obviously are two handed. I think it actually might be Master Forge one, so he gets a plus one for free. Um, yeah, I think it'll be three attacks. I think it'll be three wounds. It might well and fate, because this is not someone who necessarily is in the books, I don't think. I'm not the most well-read with Tolkien. I've read the books, but I don't remember no Dragon Emperor. Um, he might be three fate. Because, in, in you know, in the lore, the Easterlings just run away eventually, don't they? They don't, they don't lose. It's just Sauron, like, it's no more, and they just leave. Yeah. I mean, I can, I can see him being three, three, three. I can see him. Yeah. I think that... He's very much in danger of being too expensive. Yeah. 
for all the stuff That's he needs to bring to make him a must include. Like if he's cheap as chips and like I don't know, 150 points, and he's a banner with maybe some kind of fight shenanigans like pop on fight daddy within six inches. Yes. Sure, he he. I can get. I can imagine he's not too expensive, but if he suddenly gets plus one to wound and all the other Gucci stuff that we think he needs to boost up Eastlings, he he might be on like. Starting to creep towards, you know, bowl Azog level kind of, and he won't be an Azog. And already, Easterlings are so expensive in terms of the other heroes. Uh, the, like, even the Dragon Knights, they can only take what six because they're minor heroes. Um, you are risking that, which is why I hope with this model they go the Witch King route, where you can choose the upgrades you want for him. You can basically create a Dragon Emperor that suits your list, and maybe you, there's an option to customize the throne. Again, different banners do different things. Um, if you want to do everything, it might not necessarily be possible because then you'll be overcosted and overpowered. Um, so I think that's probably the best route to go around it. I mean, all, in all likeliness, we'll find out in the next week or two what he really can do. Um, these are just our predictions, so like, don't take them as gospel. No, no, no. Um, this is just what our hopes and dreams, and then our kind of like. <sighs> more realistic ideas and then like our worst case scenario like my worst case scenario is his big buff is ancient enemy dwarf <laughs> i don't need that if we've got like raz goose rocking around giving all his orcs plus one to wound like come on <laughs> or oh, no hatred elf I-, I want something at least on those lines should we should we finish on like our worst predictions versus our best like what is what is the absolute worst you can imagine this guy being essentially the worst I can imagine him being is, uh, I reckon, he's just going to be like a three might hero who might have six attacks. Sure, that's pretty good. But his one big thing is he's a six inch banner and maybe gives you ancient enemies. That's literally the worst. Like, yeah, fight five, cool. Very nice. I can, like, use my Elven Blade against, like, evil armies, but not good. Because <laughs> they're all like fights. Uh, yeah, I would have to say something similar. Like, he's going to be overcosted for what he does. It's a six inch banner. It doesn't really give you any sort of plus one to wound or any sort of significant wound buff. You might get, like, oh, I can reroll ones for, like, a turn or something rubbish like that. But I don't think that will be the case. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Uh, what else do I think he would be pretty terrible at? I just have a really bad feeling he's fight five. I mean, he could come out and be fight seven, like a fight seven Chad, but, you know, this is yeah. his armies, the Lord of the Rings. This ain't no Hobbit army, so probably going to be fight five. Um, uh, yeah. But... I think I'm hoping fight six. It's got to be. For me to bring him, he's got to be fight six. He's got to go toe to toe with uh, good heroes. Yeah, yeah, and he's got to have some sort of advantage. Like, heroic challenges for free when he's off his throne would be pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, like, I mean, look yeah. at that dismounted. Like, if that's not a fight six pose, I don't know what is. <laughs> <laughs> or oh, it's just that. It's a pose. Like, the guy's a fake. I don't know. Yeah, true. He knows how to do, like, <laughs> the moves, but not the actual combat. <laughs> he's a king for the Instagram image. Exactly. Um, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Best predictions are obviously I, I my best prediction. He's going to be a big 190 point model. Yeah, quite expensive, but not unreasonable. I can see me bringing him if he's a big banner, so six inch to twelve inch like Imra Hill. So it's not unheard of. Yeah. Um, yep. uh, plus one fight value for maybe just black dragons because that makes sense. Um, and some kind of buff. So six inches of him gets plus one strength or plus one to wound, best case. Yeah, even when he charges or something, it gives everyone around him plus one to wound. Yeah, something like that. Like, oh, like Elder like, Bianca or something like that. Yeah, even even if he's fight five, doesn't have strike. If he does those things, I'm happy. Yeah, I agree. I, I couldn't agree more there. That would be mine as pretty much. Uh, um, I, I think giving him plus one to wound automatically and just keeping him behind the enemy lines might be a bit, you know, feel hard. Like it might be a bit rubbish for your opponent. Sorry, I think having some sort of <laughs> having some sort of trick where he literally just runs in, charges, and all the Easterlings are like, "Yo, damn!" Like <laughs> the Emperor set in the standard here. Yeah, we got to kill these guys a bit faster. You know what I'm saying? So we can get to him. Otherwise, we're not getting home. Oh. We're getting flogged or whatever. <laughs> yeah. And that plus one. 
plus one to wound comes from there. Or, like, yeah, I think that would be pretty awesome. And, and uh, yeah, that's what I would like to see. Because then you he wouldn't just be a support hero. You would have to risk him a little bit more by charging him in. Which is why I think the fight five would be pretty, pretty naff as well. Because a lot of good armies are elves. So you charge him in to give everyone the fight five, and then you lose to elves. Yeah, it's so easy to get five six for elves. It's just yeah. insane. On the plus, on the other thing, the one thing I don't want to see on this guy is I don't want any of his buffs to be triggered on killing the enemy leader. Come on. Oh, I don't want to see that. Like, there comes a 12 inch banner if he kills the enemy leader. Like, bro, he's on a throne. It's not his job to be killing them. Like, he's, got two, he's got two lieutenants. Yeah. No, one, no one's going to go near him with the leader if he gets stuff like Like, Amdur, like, yeah, he might be able to kill the enemy leader later on in the game to get, like, a six inch banner effect, but. Or like Birda, like my, my, like I've gone against Birda, and my leader yeah. does not go near that thing because <laughs> he's killing. <laughs> oh like, no, I've never seen that go off with Birda. I've never seen it happen. It's for one turn, like what? <laughs> yeah. Like if he kills a hero model and it's you know forever, then amazing. Like I yeah. would take him every game, um, because you just you locate the captain and you crush his skull in. But yeah. for eight turn, for like eight turn, like bro, I've got a. I know that already does that for three inches and it's automatic. I'd rather take that over risking Birdo for one turn. Yeah. Unless he's killing like Frodo or something or like Paladin Took or whatever hobbits people bring. Yeah, give me a hobbit army. and <laughs> I, I'll be getting a six inch banner every turn. Yeah, I know, right. <laughs> I still need to bring camels against hobbits. Like... <laughs> Use the terrain, kill them fast, kill them hard. I hate hobbits, can't stand yeah. them. I think the only time I played hobbits was when I had like fell beasts so their traps yeah. didn't really touch me so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah hobbit 8 is gonna have to be a new uh a new episode all right there, there will be a hobbit episode where we break down the shire and their legendary legions and we're gonna have a chat about them because <laughs> you, you, like you say break down like it's fair it's gonna be a hobbit roast we're gonna roast the hobbits the hobbits might get roasted a little bit just to pre-warn you but it's all in good fun. Play whatever you like. But if you're playing ruffians, what is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, any closing points on this absolutely sexy babe? Uh, no, no, other than, you know, like, hide, hide, like, there's nothing you can do. You can't hide from him. He'll see you. He's like 12, like six inches in the air. He's got like a 12 inch throne. He will find you. He will kill you. And he'll probably take your wife as well. He is. He is going to take... I mean, he's taken everyone's... Everything. He's just taken everything. <laughs> yeah. And, and somewhere out there in, in Harad, there's, there's a golden king that's crying right now. Yep. So, Money uh, can't buy happiness, dude. Apparently he can't even buy a good throne. I know, right? He's got... He's made out of, like, sticks. It's a chair on sticks. Like, come on. Come on. You know what they say? The richest people don't flaunt it. Exactly. I guess, I guess. This guy's out here throwing coins at people. Yeah, I mean, this guy's kind of like, he's literally spent his entire fortune on, like, a throne. <laughs> he's got all the money in the world, but he can't cure his halitosis. Oh, wait, are they ornaments on the side? Oh, yeah, they got to be ornaments. There's not, they're not two tame dragons on either side of him. Oh, my Just... God, imagine it's like, for one turn, you can activate the dragon. <laughs> yeah, you just get the teardrop template from 40k. And like... <laughs> Activate dragons is like six inch fire blast that affects all models within two inches of the center line or something crazy. Instant death. Yeah. <laughs> no Instant death. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Shoot your iron hill shield walls. Can you imagine that? He just walks forward, shield wall, <laughs> two dragons open their mouths, and there's no shield wall. Yeah, he's going to have to be. 300 plus points for that <laughs> maybe more i'd pay it it'd be funny <laughs> <laughs> oh that's disgusting that would be absolutely gross i love it um but yeah my closing points is he looks sexy i'm gonna buy him sorry wife it's gonna happen <laughs> uh, <and laughs> let, let us know in the comment section down below what you think if you've got any predictions or what he might do uh do let us know um but yeah other yeah. than that I would say also try and comment, see if you can predict what his real name is. I'm going to go with Magnum. Um, but yeah, if you guys can predict what the real name of the Dragon Emperor is, go for it in the comments. I mean... I'm going with Magnum. Magnum. He definitely looks like he's a Magnum. I can see it. I can see it. I really can. I mean, I'm still talking to uh, Wolverine, whatever his name is. Oh, I've forgotten. 
<laughs> what is his name? I've completely, it's completely uh, Hugh Jackman. Hugh Jackman. He's a Hugh, this boy. He's either Hugh or Chad. Um, <laughs> that's what I'm going with. <laughs> Chad Thundercock. Yeah, <laughs> he's going to be that guy. That's his name. Done. <laughs> right, that's everything from me. Yeah, happy days. Um, if you like the video, do consider hitting the like button so you know we know that the uh, boys from Hamarad videos are getting some love and we'll keep doing them. Uh, and do consider subscribing. Um, on top of that, in the description down below, there's a link to my Discord. So if you want to chat Middle Earth, jump in there. Or if you want to challenge us to a game at any point, jump in there. On top of that, we're doing list reviews. So if you want to chuck your list in the comment section down below, just put boys from Harad review my list or do it in the Discord. And we will. We will review it. And we will rip it to pieces. I'm joking. I'm sure it's fantastic. Unless you give me a Hobbit list, in which case... <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, 15 <laughs> bats, and then nah, I'm good. Yeah. I've got better things to do. 15 war bats. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, do consider subscribing. But even if you don't do that, I still hope you have an absolutely fantastic day, and we will see you in the next video. <gasps> Goodbye.